Hey guys, how's it going? This is Instafiz, and today I am recording more Hive Swap. Now, um, from what I can tell, we're close to the game. I talked to my brother, who gave me tips on where I was stuck. Um, I was trying to figure out how to attract the Lucis, and apparently you have to click below the door to place down the milk. Anyways, she, he also said that I'm like 10 minutes away, or like really close to the end so I guess we'll see if that's true now let's see yeah you can't do that what even that's a great idea but wasn't the deer cat actually closer to the other door the one it chased you through oh so I can do that I can click on the bowl and then this I thought I tried that already. I could have sworn I tried that already. So let's just click on the bowl of milk in the door. Oh yeah, here we are. Let's see what we got here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's do it. Now quickly. Ascend and descend. I thought I tried that already, though. Well, whatever. Anyways. Let's head back out here. And out here. And then let's use this. You would feel better about treating the deer cat if you knew a little more about it than nothing. Fortunately, you happen to um, snag some reading material on just that topic. All you need to do is consult it. Um, what would that be? This? Um... With this stuff, you'll have everything you need to treat any hurt animals across your path and alien ones. Actually, with this stuff in particular, maybe exclusively alien ones. You pick a page at random and accidentally spend a few minutes reading about muscle beasts and pictorial tomb sense. Maybe you should just use this on loose sense that you actually encounter. Also hope that you never encounter one. What? You flip through the pages. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Its scientific name is apparently the... Cuspidated Grimalkin. The cuspidated grimalkin is a chemical union of predators and prey, with the strength of both long, retractable claws and razor-sharp teeth alongside the defensive crown of stabbing horns. The speed for lightning, quick dashes, and the endurance to run entire nights without tiring. Proud and resplendent. Cuspidated grimal grimalkin prefer to bond with bronze blood wigglers, in whom they sense a strong natural act aptitude for leadership. Such aspirations and low bloods are the grounds for culling, of course, and the primary cause of death for cuff-sedated Grimalkin is in the defense of their shrinsinous wards. Okay, um, anecdotal accounts suggest that those cuff-sedated Grimalkin who manage to survive the death of their wards will typically seek us, similarly orphan troll, and attempt to bond with them. Although the selection process is naturally rather mysterious due to, due to its yeah, staggering illegality. Several anatomical diagrams are included from these. You think you'll be able to treat the deer cat, which is what you're going to continue doing if not. Cubsidated Grimalkin is a bit of a mouthful. Okay, now let's do this. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that face. Oh, oh, so awesome! Wow, what a cutie! But what's his name? You could ask Esca Exaforce, you guess, but you feel like there should be s there's something between the two of you now, something that merits a new one. So it's gonna. Uh... Okay, so I accidentally skipped the naming process where Exaforce is. So I'm just gonna call them uh, Foon Chop. Shout out to my buddy Foon Chop Plus. Foon Chop. Now let's go. Now that I'm thinking about it, 
I'm, su I'm suddenly pretty nervous about how I'm gonna get over there. I keep seeing the shadows of huge hulking things flying around outside. Yeah, the exiting won't be easy, I'm sorry. Is it always this hard to get across the street? No. I mean, not usually. Things got pretty... Inks... Inks... Ink... Intense, I think. I think it says intense. How do you mean? Somebody we're supposed somebody we were supposed to be meeting up with didn't show. Or maybe they didn't and went bad. I really don't know. Damek didn't tell me what was happening. And I screwed up everything. I know it. You should stay there. I don't want you to risk getting hurt because of me. Hmm. I should stay there. I don't want you to risk getting hurt because of me. I'll figure something out. What do you mean? Because like everything else today, no matter how scary this seems, in the end it's only a puzzle. And solving puzzles is what I do, but no buts. Except yours, which I'm saving. Are you sure? Extremely. Oh. Eh? We'll be there in flash. Excellent. Wait, we? This is a remix of the Hive Swap Trailer 2 song. This is awesome. Thumbnail material. Huh. We're here. Oh jeez, is that you under the rubble? I mean, I assume it is. I hope so. Not that I want you to be getting crushed under rubble. I hope it didn't happen enough that I didn't mistake you for someone else being crushed under rubble. No, it's me. I was lucky. Lucky. Left for dead, covered up, but not hurt badly enough to actually die. The ones who got cold on sight. Or snatch up to be cold later, probably in some sick high blood spect spectacle. They weren't as lucky as me. This is what you're rebelling against? These drone things? No. I mean, not really. The Harris is in charge uh, is in charge, and the drones obey her. It's her birthright. So why is she doing this? I have no idea. Low bloods get cold for anything and everything or no reason at all. She doesn't have to have one. Or maybe our su subgrub being on fire makes a real sick selfie background. Are you serious? She sounds terrible. Yeah, no kidding. It's like Tech Church says. The slow, the soft, the unlucky, the troublemakers. Anyone who doesn't jump when the hair snaps her weep, webby, little, webby or weeby little fingers, they get rounded up and slaved or slaughtered. Especially rustbloods. Like me. This is terrible. Your neighborhood is on fire. You're buried in rubble. Like you said, this is why we're rebelling. This is so awful. Why hasn't someone already put a stop to this? My subgrub is full of low bloods. We don't matter. So nobody who does matter cares. All of this is is taking out the garbage. It's always been this way. Nobody does anything about it. Especially not gutter bloods. You just talk to him from there, okay? Please. Not with the stupid iPad. Like me. We're mostly good at lying down to die. But you're rebelling, right? So are you are doing something. Oh, that's not me. That's the Tetrarch. Tetrarch Damic is different. He's amazing. I wish you could meet him. He always just does things like he's in a movie when he's the star. You know? Um, he put the whole thing together. The Rebel Network, the plan, all of it. But without him, we don't have a chance. He was the one everyone talked to, and now he's gone. He's gone, and I'm alone. And someone's soft and stupid. I'm just a little gutter blood and know about me. No. No! No! What? This damn it guy. He sounds like he stinks. What? I'm sorry, but you talk about him constantly and not a single word you've said doesn't make him sound like an awful bully. No, it's not like that at all. He's just looking out for me. Open your eyes! Why do you think you're r really saying these terrible things? It's not like I don't know where you're coming from. Sometimes my palm makes me feel just rotten. And I, th and I, th I think, am I the reason he's never around? What's wrong with me that makes my own father not want to see me? But that's a load of garbage! The only person responsible for the terrible things he does is him. You don't understand. Me and the Tetrarch have been putting, have been together since we were grubs. We were fated to be morales. You wouldn't get it because you're an alien. I need him. No, you don't. I may not know anything about the social customs of this crazy alien planet, but I know that a real friend would never, never stand by and let you think and say those things about yourself. I don't think you're nothing. In fact, I know you're not nothing. You've got plenty of your own bravery. Just because fighting back was his idea doesn't mean it didn't take courage to see it through. And you were going to risk everything to save me. An alien you'd never even met. That's the bravest thing I've ever heard get tried. Do 
you really think so? Yeah! I believe in you, x froze You remember my name this time. Yes! That's because you made such a big impression on me, and we were such good friends, and I'd be really sad if you gave up and died here under these rocks. Oh man, it actually means a lot to me. I never even dreamed that if something like this could happen to somebody like me. x froze I'm gonna do my absolute best to raise your standard of friendship to the point where having your name remembered is not the nicest thing anyone has ever done for you. So it seems like he's getting along with x froze more than Jude. Uh, I don't know what to think about that. I'm not alone after all. I've got Joey Alien here to save me and tell me what to do. Huh? No. Oh, we're in this together. Oh yeah, right. Thanks, Joey. Let's get you out of there and figure out what's next. Are you, are you sure you don't know anyone who can help us? I kind of don't even know what kind of help you need, but, it's, but it seems we do. I do know someone, but they don't exactly live nearby. It'll be a journey. Are you sure they'll help us? Oh yeah, she hates the Harris. Harris. She's our biggest fan. Must be the person on the, the like the pictures I've seen in Exafrosa's room. That must be her, the one that I said looked like Briska in the last episode, which you probably didn't watch. I'd rather you not, honestly. That's good enough for me. Now hold still, I'm gonna get you out of there. Hmm. This is Exafrosa's dad, apparently. He's moving pretty sloth-like, huh? You've got no chance of moving all of that with just your bare hands. It's time to bust out the hover pad, or maybe it was the hover slide. You can't quite remember. Let's do this. Ah! Oh, yeah, just like Homestuck. That face and that flailing. Aww. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> I love this game. This is so sweet. I like this. And is that the end of Act 1? I guess so. Let's see here. <laughs> God. Oh no, what's going on? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, it's her. It's her. It's gotta be her. Yes, that's her! It's from Homestuck. She's from Homestuck. She's dead in Homestuck. I wonder what co what kind of alternate universe is this? What kind of alternate universe is this where the Heroness has been Paris has been created. Andrew Hussey presents Hive Swap. Awesome. I loved it. I loved it. This was just like Homestuck. This was awesome. I loved this game so much. This was amazing. This was so worth the wait. Oh my god was this worth it however i still have some questions how is the harris a thing because if you read homestuck you'd have to get pretty far in it you'd f understand that okay these credit drawings are just distracting me because the harris was not a thing to begin with in homestuck like the, the Harris was created in the Homestuck universe. So, I'm wondering, how did the Harris become a thing in the universe of Hive Swap? All we know that is, this is the second character, well, actually, not really. Like, the first few characters that go from Homestuck that come into this universe would be from the walls, like the pictures on the walls, where you see quite a few. Of people like the babysitter their babysitter is their babysitter Joey and Jude's babysitter is Roxy from Homestuck and then you have the Harris who is also from Homestuck now there's a lot of weird a time line crap going on and ah there's Toby Fox my buddy 
And there's a lot of weird time things going on in Homestuck, like... It's weird. Because, like, you have a young version of the Harris who never became the Harris. It's... it's all weird. It's hard to explain. Just read Homestuck. Special thanks to every single Homestuck fan from all of our Kickstarter backers. Hmm... I'm starting to wonder... How does... How was the Harris created in... How was the Harris created? How was the Harris created in this universe? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of High Swap. Can't wait for the next act. This was awesome. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.